Okay, guys, welcome to the Chosen One podcast show. If you landed on this podcast episode, you are probably a manifesting generator and a female entrepreneur, coach, or expert. So welcome, take a cup of tea, and listen, binge listen to all the amazing episodes I have set up for you. Episodes to help you create the right energy and mindset to create the manifesting generator business and life of your dreams. Here we go. Okay, guys, I'm so excited for this episode. I actually already started recording it with my daughter present, but she was in such a playful mood and she was like making so much background noise. And I felt like this episode really needed some aligned <laughs> um, aligned energy. So I waited until my husband came home from the gym and I'm now upstairs in my office with my gemstones ready to record this amazing episode for you guys because I truly believe this is an episode that is so, so valuable for you. And this can actually really take your next branding shoot to the next level, which is so exciting because branding is so important when it comes to attracting in our soul aligned clients. First of all, I want to explain why I feel so strongly about branding. So we are all very energetic human beings, right? Everybody in this podcast show, me included, we have such a beautiful and aligned energy. And energy at the end is all there is. And for years and years and years, I felt that my social media was not a true representation of who I felt that I was. But I did not feel equipped to make the right pictures of myself. I always felt like my photos didn't look as good as when other people did their photos. So I always hired professional photographers to make pictures of me. And even though a lot of those pictures were very beautiful and aligned, because I always did attract in aligned photographers, and we always made sure that it was a co-creating experience, uh, it came to a point that I was like, you know what? <laughs> I have learned so much about this, and I have done so many photo shoots in my life. I can do this myself. I have to say I have a little bit of an advantage here since my mom is a fashion stylist or used to be a fashion stylist. And as a kid, I would always go to the studio with her. This was in a time that people actually didn't have mobile phones yet and that really photography was a craft, a very... A uh, beautiful craft, which 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 photographers got paid a lot of money for, and uh, my mom even took me to Miami when she went to Miami to do photo shoots. Like I was always there when she had her shoots, and I absolutely loved 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 that scene. But interestingly, a lot enough, I always felt that I wasn't able to make good pictures of myself. Um, when I was just at home or selfies, that just wasn't my vibe. So for a lot of, for a long time, I just felt like my social media wasn't representation of who I was until last year when I actually decided, you know what? I have done so many photo shoots with photographers. I am so, I know so well what it is that I want. I do all of the, um, uh, the, the prep work. I mean, I make the lookbooks up front. I decide on what kind of pictures I want, which I will go a little bit deeper into in this episode as well. I make a lookbook. I decide on like how many headshots do I want? How many negative shot, negative space shots do I want? What is the kind of energy I want to evoke? All of those stuff I come up with before I do the photo shoot. And then what I used to do is then like look for the right, I would also look for the right location. And then when I found all that, I would look for the right photographer to make the pictures of me. And last time I was like, you know what? I know I can do this myself as well. So my last shoot, if you go to my Instagram, all the shoots with the blue and everything and all the videos I have done myself. And um, actually in my branding portal, so the brand, I actually offer this service to my clients as well, where we have a beautiful afternoon where we come together in the studio I always work in and uh, I do the styling for them. I do the, 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 the branding. I come up with the concept for the branding. 
and then I do the photos. And this month, I actually have two of those portals coming up, which is very exciting. And this is also why I felt inspired to record this episode to give you some specific tips on how do I actually prep for a photo shoot like that? And what are some key ingredients to think of? Okay, so first and foremost, one of the most important thing I always start out with is that I create a lookbook. And if you go to the description in this um, episode, you will find a link. And if you leave your email and your, and your um, I wanted to say phone number, but that's of course not necessary because I'm not going to call you, um, uh, your name and your email, I will actually send over the lookbook that I create when I go, when I prep for my, for my photo shoots, if it's for my own photo shoot or for my clients, I always make a lookbook up front. And like I said, it's super important for me to in, um, integrate a, a couple of steps into that lookbook. So I will take you through it. And I really hope this will benefit you as well. So the first step I always do, if you look at the first page of the lookbook, is that I always first come up with, okay, what do I need this, these photos for? So what I see a lot happening is that people will book a branding shoot with a random photographer. And then at the end, they get these pictures and they're like, mm, I'm not quite sure if I can use this for the thing I wanted it for. I had that experience in the beginning as well, that I would get pictures and then they were, for example, in portrait mode. Well, I actually needed landscape mode because landscape allowed me to make a great banner for my Facebook um, page or for my website. So these are things you really want to think about up front. Like, do I need landscape photos? Do I need portrait photos? So landscape is like vertical. Uh, port, uh, no, portrait is vertical, landscape is, is horizontal. You really want to think about these things. Um, I will give you a little hint on how I, why I use my photos. So I use my photos primarily for my website because I do believe, like I love social media to have also some of selfie photos, right? Some of like non-professional photos. But I do believe that your website really needs some very strong, powerful professionally made pictures okay so people come into your website which is actually your online home and they're like oh my god yes this feels like a very solid energy this is where i want to invest my money in right because we charge or at least i charge a good amount of money for my portals and i guess my guess is that you do as well or you have the intention to charge good money so you want your your website to look professional it does not mean that you have to like put on a jacket and an office outfit to look professional. Not at all. I mean, I have like um, a towel in my head on, on some of my pictures or rollers, curlers in my head, in my hair. It's not about looking uh, corporate. It's about looking, having professional photos. Okay. So in my opinion, professional photos are just like, they, they have, well, the, the lighting, the lighting is very beautiful. Um, uh, the personality get captures in the, in the photo. And you can just really see like, okay, this is somebody who knows what she's talking about. Okay. So you want to talk, think about where do I need it for? And in my case, I use it for my website. So I'm always, I always want a very good, like picture that a landscape picture that I can use for the banner of my website. And then I want some, uh, lens, uh, portrait photos as well to incorporate in my website, for example, by the product on a product page or on my sales pages, you want specific kind of uh, pictures. And then also for my social media, I find it very important to have very strong, headshots okay strong headshots are like they can like a good strong headshot can capture somebody's energy instantly and that will just like that that will draw it will draw your clients in and they'll be intrigued to read your post because your headshot is so strong this has all to do with the eyes as well like the eyes need to like be inviting and be like okay read my post right and then um as you know if you if you follow me longer I've shared before a little bit about how I use social media. I do not use social media in the way that I'm like present on social media 24 seven. I would say I'm like, I'm not a lot present at social media at all. 
uh, when I post something, nine out of 10 times, it's my team posting it. And sometimes I'll do some stories, but I am very present on social media through advertising. So the reason why I chose that specific strategy is because it actually allows me to attract a new soul aligned client, which is very beneficial for my clients and for me. So I get to change people's lives and people's lives get to be changed by me. And then also it allows me to stay very strong in my own energy and in my own lane, because if you're present 24 seven on social media, I don't care how good you are in like keeping your energy strong, you will get affected by the people and by the energy present there. So I try to limit my time on social media and only really use it in an intentional way through ads. And for ads, it's actually very important that you have photos, um, portrait photos, so horizontal photos with negative space. So if you go to the lookbook, you can actually see an example of what I mean by negative space. But negative space in essence is space behind beyond, behind you as a person where you in, can, can incorporate letters, for example. So if you have ever seen my ads come by, most likely you are listening to this podcast episode because you have seen my ad. Um, and you came to me through my ad, you always notice that there is negative space where I will say for manifesting generators exclusively, for example, right? The reason why my ads convert so well is because I know what kind of pictures convert well in ads and how to incorporate the right text into the pictures. This is a very big part of successful advertising. You need to incorporate that and you need to choose the right pictures if you want your ads to convert. Converting, for those of you who don't know, means that somebody actually converts to a, uh, for, in my example, um, when I use ads, I nine out of 10 times convert for an email address. So I will give a free masterclass. So, and then people will give me their email address so I can keep them informed through email. Sometimes I even um, promote paid portals through ads and then the conversion would be when somebody actually signs up and pays the portal then you have the conversion but if somebody takes an action and it's a successful action that you set out in the beginning then you have your conversion and good pictures are essential to run good ads okay so first step I always do is create a lookbook and to make sure that I write down how many headshots do I want and how many negative space variations do I want. And then I also sometimes think of, okay, I want some detail shots for, for example, social media. It might be nice to have like a detail shot of my, all of my beautiful jewelry of all, all of my jewelry gemstones. And then I love to have some personality shots as well. So personality shots are a little different than a headshot or a negative space shot. For me, a personality shot is a, is a shot where you can really showcase your personality. In my case, most of the times my personality shots always also have negative space because I love using like um, plain backgrounds so that I always have negative space. I just I just love that. But sometimes um, personality shots can also I sometimes also take personality shots with some background like with with a with a living room at, at the background or something, something to give a little bit more um, uh, meaning or a little bit more context to the specific picture. So this is something you will see at the first page of the lookbook. And then I also always incorporate some key words to remind myself during the photo day, what is the energy I want to uh, evoke? What are the, what is the energy that I want my pictures to evoke with the people who come across them? Okay. So in my previous episode, if you haven't listened to that one, is that is called the power story or creating your power story or something in that regard. Something I do before I book a branding shoot with my clients uh, or before they book a branding shoot with me, I actually have them create their power story. And in my case, when you book a um, portal with me, 
uh, nine out of the 10 times my team member, Najira, will actually book a call with you to create your power story. So this is a service I provide as part of the branding agency to create your power story. And a power story, again, if you haven't listened to that episode, go back to the episode. But in essence, it's a story that really captivates you, your trans- transition from where you used to be to where you're currently at in very strong visual words that so words that actually speak to the imagination and that somebody will never forget again okay so i always incorporate my keywords in the first page of my lookbook so that i know this is the energy i want to evoke with my pictures and with my videos okay and then on um, uh, page two and three you actually see some examples of headshots and negative space shots um I also incorporated, I actually, I used my, um, my pregnancy, pregnancy shoot, um, um, how do you say that lookbook for you guys? Um, this is something I created in 21. Um, so if you're pregnant, you might love this as well. So I also incorporated like some full portrait photos and then, uh, some full portrait photos of a mom and a daughter shoot, because I love doing some pictures with my mom as well. And then I had some pregnancy detail shots as well. Of course, this is like, uh, uh, focused on pregnancies, but you can focus it on anything you desire. And then I also incorporated a, a page with only personality shots. And this gives you a very good idea of what I mean with personality shots. So it's you, for example, standing in front of a SUV, if that's like the energy you want to transmute, or you holding beautiful flowers in in front of a beautiful mansion. So you can just like look into that. Uh, A lot of coaches also have like shots with them working on their computer. Um, I don't really use those shots myself anymore because I feel like it's so cliche. So I'd rather look for different types of personality shots, but you can just choose whatever feels comfortable for you. And then I also always like in this case, the pregnancy shoot was done in my mom's home. So then I also added a page with available background. So then I sort of scan the location. I'm like, okay, where can I actually find backgrounds that are suitable for the negative space shots? So this is something you can check out as well in the lookbook. And then at the end, I actually always uh, end with what do I actually need to bring to the photo shoot? So for me, this is very good. I think this is beneficial for everybody to do, but especially if you're a little chaotic like me, it is very good to write it down. So in my case, next, I have a photo shoot with a client the 1st of August and the 8th of August. We have a whole afternoon. Like these are so fun days. I mean, when you work with me in a branding shoot, it is not like your typical shoot where you're just coming in, pictures are taken and you go. No, like it's like a whole afternoon where we actually co-create, where it's a very good ambiance, where we make pictures, make videos. It's like very, it's a very beautiful and aligned energy where we create some beautiful magic. And um, like I said, um, I need to prep before. So a day before I have to shoot, I shoot, I actually collect all the things that I need for the specific shoot. I put it downstairs. I already put it in the car so that I can't forget anything. Sometimes I still forget something, but I try not to. And uh, at the last page, you actually see that I incorporated the things that I need. So this was for my own photo shoot, my pregnancy shoot. So I was like, my props needed to be my Louis Vuitton uh, calendar, my Burberry calendar, a pair of glasses, Chanel glasses, my iMac. I wanted balloons, flowers, jewelry, and my diamond ring. So those were the props that I wanted to take. And then I also made a list of outfits that I wanted to bring. For my branding shoots and for my clients' branding shoots, I also always do the styling. So I will shop for them. So I will like lend most of the time I borrow the closing and then bring it back afterwards, unless the client actually wants to keep the closing. And this is something I do before the shoot, of course. Then I just go online and I just tune into the energy of the specific client and I just like 
almost like automatically know what to order for them. It's like really beautiful. My spirits literally show me this is the outfit for that specific client. And this is also how I create their lookbook when I go on Pinterest or when I go to the store because I love going to the physical store and go like get some Vogue's and some magazines. And then I just look at the, I go through the Vogue and then it's like, okay, this picture is for her. This picture is for her. So I love having examples of poses and uh, specifically poses uh, so that I have something to respond to since I am a manifesting generators and you guys most are most of you are manifesting generators yourself we have to respond in strategy so that when we have examples of poses we can actually create better photos because we have something to respond to so this is something I always do as well that I make sure that I have a collection of poses that are that I find as a good fit for the client I'm actually working with. So let me see. Um, this is actually how I prep for the photo shoot. And then I actually created some tips. I created five tips to create a mind-blowing branding shoot for your MG coaching business. So the first one I told you guys, this is like create a lookbook uh, upfront. So make sure to create a lookbook. You can download the example in the link at the description of this uh, specific podcast episode. Then the second tip is where do you want, like think about where you want to use your pictures for. Do you want to use it for your uh, just random social media or do you want to use it for your website? Do you want to use it for your um, for your ads, in that case, really be very uh, aware of the fact that you will need pictures with negative space and that you will need pictures that have landscape mode. So you can use that for the banner of, for example, your Facebook group or your website. Very important. This is a lesson I learned over the years after receiving pictures and like, oh my God, this is a great picture for a banner, but I can't use it because it is vertical. Okay. And then the third tip is make sure to be very intentional about the energetics of the photographer, stylist or location you are planning to work with. In my case, I like I do everything myself now, so that is a little easier. But as far as it comes, for example, for the location, I really make sure that the energetics of the location is good. The location I currently found, this is actually uh, located in the Netherlands. Um, I have people flying over from Mallorca and Belgium right now to uh, to get the, um, the photo shoot this month with me. So that's a that's an honor. I love that. Um, uh, but the location is in the Netherlands and um, the location is a very aligned location. The owner is a very aligned soul which loves the work that I'm doing and the energy is just per like it's a beautiful energy there and you want to look for a location that like that really energetically is a match to what you are okay because energy is so important and this is comes as well for your photographer for your stylist if you do want to do hair and makeup which I I never let anybody else do either I always do that myself as well and also for my clients I don't book an, a professional uh, makeup uh, artist because I really want them to look as natural as possible so the way they do their makeup that's most of the time well enough and then sometimes we'll tweak a little bit for, uh, makeup wise but I really want them to look as natural as possible to how they look in their personal life as well um, but make sure to be intentional about the energetics you want to attract for the location the stylist and the photographer this will make the world like this will make a lot of difference in the outcome of your pictures and then the fourth tip is to really think about the props you want to incorporate in the shoot for your personality so in my case the thing the reason why people book the photo shoots with me is because I have the gift to take your current version to the next level and then capture that in the picture. So it's always a stronger version of you that I actually capture on picture. And it's always like a little bit more out of the box because as manifesting generators, you do want your pictures to stand out in the online world. You want people to be right away like, hey, something different here. Like, for example, me having the curls in my head or me having a towel in my head. That looks like immediately that is an intent. That's an, something that grabs the intention, right? Uh, attention. 
Uh, that doesn't mean that my clients will do that because for my clients that I'm currently working with, I'm not going to put curlers in their hair. That will look absolutely ridiculous for them. But I do actually like dive into their life and be like, what is like essential for you? So for example, one of the clients I'm working with, she has this beautiful farm and she, this is actually a place where you can also rent out beautiful uh, cottages and um, it's a beautiful place in nature. She works with the horses there. Um, and she's like always present there working in the in the earth with her beautiful boots and with her beautiful coat. And I like before I even knew that she had those specific boots and coats, I was like, I saw the pictures of the specific boots and coats and I sent her the picture. I'm like, do you have these? Do you have these items? Do you have these specific boots and do you have these specific coat? And she's like, yes, of course I got that. I'm like, good, bring it with you because I want to incorporate their personality into the pictures and because I do it in a studio setting which is not a plain studio it's a studio with a lot of beautiful lighting it's like almost like a home it's a beautiful location I can bring in that personality but I can like I can make it shine out it becomes stronger I don't know really how to describe it but it's like it's really it's it's, I feel like it's a a piece of art that I'm creating there so I always ask them to bring props and uh, another client that I'm doing the portal with, she makes uh, music as well. So she brings her instrument and we'll make beautiful, beautiful videos of that. I don't know if you've ever checked out my Instagram, sophiedemar.official. You will see a reel where I'm in a kimono doing tapping. Well, those kind of videos we also create on that day for my clients. So they have videos and photos, which is very powerful because photos are amazing but videos take things even to the next level and when we're talking about ads your conversion rate will go down so much when you use video because video are just like it's cheaper to do like videos get picked up better and the more your ad get picked up the cheaper your uh you the the less you pay for conversion So I try to always do videos as well in my ads because that also means I have to pay less to attract a new clients. So this is something you want to think about as well, a proud props and how to incorporate that for your personality. And then the last and final tip I already gave you guys is to really think about your power story and your keywords to really remind you and also the photographer, like this is really the energy I want my pictures to evoke. So these are my five tips. I hope you absolutely love them. I hope this will help you in your next branding shoot. And I hope you will create amazing, amazing pictures or have somebody create amazing pictures for you so you can start calling in those amazing soul aligned clients who are just simply dying to work with you okay don't forget if you want an example of the lookbook go to the description in the bio or in the description of the podcast and then you can download that one for free love you guys and we'll talk soon